know, formed in the, in the, the very beginning by um, Christine dragging me out to karaoke all the time and me getting sick of it. Um, but but uh, I was watching her sing these soul songs and just bringing the house down no matter what little dive karaoke bar we were in. So we decided to collaborate on the lighting and uh, made some demos and um, then started talking to all these amazing dudes and we put a band together and then we uh, developed the songs together and I mean that's pretty much it, right? Mm-hmm. And I haven't done karaoke since. Yeah, she, it, it, <laughs> I, it worked, actually. It, it, yeah. My plan worked. They're, they're asking me to go do karaoke. <laughs> When Arinda asked me, she presented it as, you know, doing something for Christine because of her voice. And I think to showcase that was why we chose soul music. And it's probably because seeing her sing those songs, I mean, I've always been inspired by soul. I think a lot of us have. And so it just kind of felt natural, even though none of us have been in a soul band. Most of my favorite songs are soul songs. And um, that's just singing along with them or anything I just it felt the most powerful and uh, I just uh, I like to move around and uh, I'm gonna put a lot of time into it why do it on something unless it's something I know I'm really good at I don't give myself a credit for a lot of stuff but I feel like I'm okay at that <laughs> you can hear like you know the the indie rock influence you can hear the folk influence you can hear, you know, the hard rock influence or whatever. Um, those little things kind of sneak in, but still kind of come together, create the unique sound and vibe that, that we present. I've never recorded in a, in a big, nice professional studio like that. It went amazingly well and smoothly. Yeah, it, it was a very different studio experience <laughs> Um, for me because usually I create the songs, the arrangements in the studio. So it's a very kind of, it, it's a very creative but laborious exercise. Um, and with us having already worked out all the arrangements ahead of time and, and pretty much uh, playing them live, it was a joy. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I thought mm -hmm. it was so fun and so easy. Um, you know, it was just about really like getting a good sound and a good take. I was, you know, a little, a little anxious, but, uh, you know, that was just like the most awesome experience. And I'm like, so proud of it as a result of that. Like, man, we all just did it. You know, like you heard what you hear when you hear those songs is us playing it live. Cause I've tried to love you the best way I can every day. We all come from literal opposite ends of the country. I mean, like none of us grew up together, with you know some some small exceptions. But um, you know that life took us to all these different places and all of our own unique you know experiences as musicians, and we all ended up here. You know, and then uh, after knowing each other for a while, that that we all kind of came into this band. We had the risk of sounding really cheesy these guys are making my dream come true you know they're the backbone to everything that I really ever thought about doing and ever wanted to do and it took me 30 some odd years to to finally find my place in that and uh, and they helped me get there and I'll be always be grateful for them so I'm just super stoked about any kind of future with them you know whether it's just drinking at the trap room or you know <laughs> or touring you know around the world <laughs> yeah, we love to tour around the world but uh yeah i'm just it's we're just stoked that it's even existing and i'm gonna try to ride on that you can't give up on me oh.